Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Brown Dust video. Alright, so basically for the last couple of uh, weeks actually, I've been deciding on which 5 star mercenaries that I should try and like, you know, try and build currently for my PvP formation because I'm kind of struggling, uh, not to say struggling, but I have bunch of 5 star skill books rather so yeah currently in terms of my roster uh, in case you guys didn't know recently i did awaken venaka because i was thinking of building her but after looking at analyzing and everything and looking at her you know st stats skills and everything i might wait for a bit because she does get the crit damage and attack but the lack of crit rate um Definitely it's not gonna be in favor of my team, but if I do build her in the future, definitely I would consider uh, replacing Vincent for her. But that's the problem. I'm currently thinking of whether or not should I use Venaka or should I just get Beliaf instead. Because looking at my arena team, the major thing that I can improve on is definitely my supporters because Ceres and Vincent, they are both uh, natural 4 stars. So hopefully I'll be able to get some 5 star supporters in there soon. So currently I'm also eyeing at uh, Arkan. Definitely uh, this guy is definitely going to be helpful. Uh, one of the best PvP tank you can obtain right now. Uh, he's a big investment, need to be plus 9 but definitely if I'm gonna build one I will need to wait. I'm, I can easily plus 6 him right now this month. So I will need to wait for one more month before I can you know, try and progress him all the way to the plus 9 territory. So I am thinking of building Tamis as well, not sure how she will fit in. If I do use Venaka in my team, most likely I will be I will need to use Tamis as well because she provides the 10% crit rate boost, so that is definitely going to be helpful. But currently, uh, I think I will build her maybe slightly later on. I'm thinking of focusing on either Venaka, Arkan, or if I am looking at uh, my current roster correctly, I should be able to slot in Jin as well. So Jin is one of the higher, I would consider him like a higher tier warrior mercenary. One of the best ones that you can have right now. For those of us who use Hell a lot in Novice Arena, so Jin is uh, exactly the same thing and he is way better at doing what Hell can do, which is like reflecting attacks. And if you plus 10 him, the incoming damage reduction is definitely going to be extremely helpful in helping him uh, take on a bunch of damage without much difficulty. Minus 50% off, that's definitely going to be helpful. And if you were to combo him with Venaka, for example, uh, you can easily obtain the healing as well. And that will give him, you know, in return, he'll be able to tank and heal up and possibly take more damage as well. So yeah, uh, still deciding. I am thinking it through. Uh, Mary could be one of the mercenary that I can consider as well. She will need to be plus 9 to get the awesome range. Otherwise, like it's quite hard to use her. Actually, Mary is one of the few that I would consider like pretty usable at plus 0 because 20% uh, crit rate and 30% crit damage that is quite a lot of damage already obviously if you have the reduces incoming damage that's going to be helpful as well and if you awaken her the stats weakening uh, immunity or removal rather would definitely be helpful as well so yeah but I'm currently leaning slightly towards Venaka rather than Mary because the Chur Infliction Bestowal uh, the plus 35 percent support will definitely be more useful especially if uh i don't know i feel like it might be a good combo with zakan like if zakan was in the range and zakan possibly dies and she will just easily get the support boost the next turn it could be good it could be usable that way so i'm not too sure maybe i'll try it out but her range though is what is uh holding me back I would prefer it to be like a 9 tiles, 3 times 3 as opposed to like 1 plus sign which is like slightly harder to use. Uh, I don't know, I'm still deciding but 
Hmm. It's either Venaka or Arkan. Most likely I will not be building Jin anytime soon yet. That will probably be the next target for, for a bit. Okay, anyway, if you guys have any suggestions, feel free to leave it in the comments below. I would love to hear some feedbacks from you guys as well. Alright, so let's go ahead and do some underground arena. Let's see. 1 hour and 46 minutes. Let's see if I can snatch a couple of wins right here. Get the free gems and stuff. Seek Moon. Okay, plus 10. Oh, oh that is awesome. Alright, Seras. I'll bring in... Hmm. Let's bring in Vincent as well. Let's go. Plus 10, Britain. Plus 4, Beliaf. He's gonna use Beliaf for sure. Beliaf user, alright. Okay. Interesting. Whoa! <laughs> what? Why why did he surrender? I'm pretty sure he could he could win me easily. Like, is he deciding it based on my mercenaries or I don't think I have a counter to Beliaf. Huh, that is weird. A plus four Beliaf could easily like demolish my team, I feel like. Uh, it's kind of weird that he's not putting up a fight right there. Okay, next up. Da 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 Buddha. Da da Buddha. Is this the same guy? No. This is a slightly different team. Venaka. Okay, let's have a look. A plus 10 Venaka. Alright, let's see. Let's see. What do we have here? We have Foxy, we have Angelica. Okay, very interesting team. Uh huh. Ariness. Mm, a lot of people like to do this, uh, putting up Ariness first, and then you get the flexibility of whichever position that you would want to be in. Venaka can. Yeah, can be placed almost anywhere. Uh, a very interesting team. But Chalkel though. If that was Zakan, I would have been more scared, but if it's a Chalkel, usually can survive the hit easily, I feel like. Okay, so let's have a look. Uh, perhaps I'll place a Gunter right here. I don't know, I think this is uh, an odd choice. Does he have... He does not have any... Hmm. There is a Lucius though. So not sure what this guy is gonna do. How about I place um, Veronia right here, followed by Christina, and then I'll put a Ser. I have a feeling he's gonna place all the attackers in the top lane. I could be wrong. It's a plus three Zakan. Foxy, okay. Charge up, and Foxy. Interesting, interesting. And then we have Veronia, Yunrang, okay. Interesting. So I'm not too scared of Foxy, I might use... Uh, yeah, that Foxy definitely can counter my Lucius easily. But I should have a solution for that. Let's have a look at the last formation that uh, he will put. Alright, you have less than 5 seconds. Okay. I have a feeling he will play someone behind that charcoal. Uh, for sure he will play someone behind the charcoal. It's just, um, it's just rather who he will place behind the charcoal. Hmm. He might place a Lucius all the way back there. Uh, that will be an interesting one, actually. Yeah, it will be extremely interesting if he does that. So let's go for something like that. And I'll place my Lucius right here. How does this sound? This guy doesn't have... I bet you he's, he will place his Lucius and Ser. Hmm. Ser and Lucius, yeah. He will place Lucius all the way at the back, in the middle. 
Either that or he will put Sarah right there. Or maybe Sarah in front. Could be wrong though. Let's have a look. Okay, that is interesting. That's actually very interesting. Okay, that Zenith. Nice one on the Zenith, a nice position. That might be able to net him the win. Alright, so we lost. Uh, definitely wasn't expecting the Zenith at the end. Boom. GG, that was a that was a good game for sure. Alright guys, so as always, do not forget the event that's currently happening with the Valentine event. You can exchange for almost uh, anything you want. Mystic Dust, Normal Scrolls. So make sure to do that. There's a uh, Chocolate and Ribbon. So make sure to exchange. You get free diamonds. 200 diamonds right there. A bunch of premium scrolls. So yeah, and then there's currently the event that for this one. Luna New York Fireworks. It's still ongoing. So make sure to collect all of these. Oh, I think I got my packet. I think I got my packet right there. Let's go claim it. What do I have? Lucky envelope. Okay, this is exciting. Let's see what do we have in the lucky envelope. Premium scroll times four star merc. Oh my god, four star mercenary selection ticket. That is awesome. That is cool, man. It's cool. Okay, I'm gonna decide what I'm gonna try and obtain. So now I have two. Wait, do I only have one? I thought I have two of the. 4 star mercenary selection ticket okay so i have a bunch of premium scrolls most likely i will try to pull them in the next video as always thanks a lot for watching that's it for this video if you haven't already subscribed to the channel give this video a like and i'll see you guys in the next one have a nice day goodbye